Righty ho, uh, next thing on the agenda for this Norton Commando engine is uh, taking the uh, timing side case apart. So the first thing we need to do is to take the, uh, what I assume will be points. Yeah. So we need to take the points out. So the, uh, we've taken the cover off. There's only one, there should be two screws. There's only one screw left. Uh, in this case, uh, we still have the, oh, I take it, the original points under here. And uh, so what we're going to do now is we've got these two pillar bolts, one at the top, one at the bottom, and we're going to uh, undo those. Okay, so then we remove the two pillar bolts, one at the top. Which uh, is five sixteenths, and then we've got one at the bottom, which, for reasons best known to itself, is one eighth width, or at least that's the nearest spanner I can find to fit it. So I imagine at some time in its life, the bit of bolts have been changed. I don't know, who knows? But there's certainly uh, different spanners. Now yeah, that'll now free off. Okay, with the pillar bolts out, the uh, units with the uh, points become loose. And then hopefully we can just feed the cable back through from the outside. Yeah, pull it through. We've got still got a couple of yeah, bullets on. Right, um, yeah, it's got a couple of bullets on, and they're on pretty tight, so I'm actually just going to cut them off because I'm pretty sure that uh, we're going to be uh, converting to electronic ignition anyway. And that, with those cut off, it just means it's an awful lot easier to pull this cable through. And there we go, that's the old points unit off. And we're now left with the advance and retard unit that's a spring loaded unit so what happens is when the uh i've got a camera in the wrong place but i'm not when the uh, uh as the speed it increases the centrifugal force opens the springs and, it, and that's the cam that opens the points and so it automatically advances the ignition as we go faster so we need to take that out. So we've got this central um, bolt. And what I've done is I've locked the uh, engine again through the, uh, once again, uh, with a rod through the uh, small ends. And this bolt goes, I hope it's not too tight, it's a bit tight. The last thing I want to do is shear this bolt. Oh, damn, I think that's sheared. Jesus Christ. I should have screwed it back in. Damn. Ah. Sheared off. Started to come out. I thought it was a bit tight. Mind you, I, I'm not going to kill myself completely because it's hard to know how to, else to get that out. You know, it's difficult to heat it. You could maybe have heated the camshaft from inside, but it's very difficult, very difficult. So I'm not going to beat myself up too much. I can feel it was a bit. Oh, well, it's just gone now anyway. Right. Damn. Right, anyway, the next thing we need is we've taken out this uh, damn, this bolt that goes that screws into the end of the camshaft. And uh, what we need now is a bolt. No. Oh. Yeah. 
is a bolt that is going to screw into the end of the advance and retard. This one goes through the advance and retard, and we want one that's actually going to screw into the advance and retard. So we've now got a, a thicker bolt. I think this is on a half inch UNF. Yeah, that's 7 sixteenths. This one's a half. So that's the 7 sixteenths we've taken out. And then the half actually screws into the end of the advance and retard unit. Now I can feel it tightening up. And it's now tightening onto the end of the exhaust camshaft. So I'm going to, it's a bit like that puller that we used on the uh, uh, drive side. So we're going to, we're basically now, this bolt is now pushing against the end of the exhaust camshaft. ready to try and pull the advance and retard off the end of the exhaust camshaft. But it's held there on an interference fit taper by friction. So now we've, a bit like on the, uh, on the drive side, I've tightened it up so it's, it's wanting to spring off. So hopefully now if I tap it, There we go, and off it comes. Damn. Damn. It's all right, so I'm going to move the camera. It's on the tripod, so it's difficult for me to see. But there in the middle, so where my finger is now, that's the end of the exhaust camshaft, this sort of ring. Okay, and then inside, that's the remains of that damn bolt that's just sheared off. Yeah that screws into the exhaust camshaft. So that's not going to be easy to get out uh, because it's steel in steel. But uh, we might see if we can get that that bolt out. Otherwise, it's a new camshaft. Yeah. Right, so that's the advance and retard unit out. And so you can see that the uh, advance and retard unit is on this taper here, which fits into that internal taper on the exhaust camshaft and fits in on an interference fit. It's an interference fit because obviously that means, you know, when you're adjusting the timing, you can put this to any position, get it in the right position, then you tighten it up and it stays. In our case, sadly, the uh, locating bolt is sheared up. Uh, such is life. I'm a bit mad, but there you go. I'm not going to beat myself up about it, like I say, because not much else I could have done, I don't think, in that in that situation.